Hi everyone, for today's video, you will have, we will have discussions about the safety in the science laboratory, rules and regulations or rules and symbols, okay? Bakit natin ito pinag-aaralan? Because maybe someday, ay pag nagkaroon tayo ng isang face-to-face, -face, ay magkakaroon tayo ng isang experiment at sana itong um, lecture na to ay makatulong to sa inyong class, okay? Kung papaano ang safety sa loob ng science lab as well as to, on how to follow the rules and regulations and symbols inside the laboratory. Okay, let's start. Okay, as you can see class, this is how it looks like. Okay? Pag kayo ay naglalaboratory, especially sa mga maaayos na school, ang mga sudyante, they wear, ano to? Love gown. They wear um, goggles. And as you look at it, super, super kompleto sila sa kanilang mga gad, sa mga kanilang equipments. Okay? Even the apparato. Okay? Next, um, ganito ang itsura class ng science laboratory. Okay, dapat kumpleto. Ganito ang itsura. May mga cabinets, may table, and then mayroon water. May water dito, may um, far exit. Okay, ganito dapat ang may itsura ng, ng um, laboratory uh, sa atin kung magkakakun tayo. Pero ngayon, picture lang na class. Next, sa ibang school naman, meron silang different um, table para hindi magkasagian lahat ng mga participants, lalo na mga sudyante na mga So, you need to be aware na kailangan natin mag-ingat inside the laboratory because there are chemicals, ayan no, chemicals yan ang nakalagay at meron ding mga aparato, baka mamaya masagi. Okay? Nandito sa cabinet lahat ng mga aparatos na yan. Okay, this is how it looks like inside the laboratory class. Okay, let's move first now to the safety first. Okay, in science is a hands-on laboratory class. If um, magkakaroon tayo ng face-to-face -face class, meron tayo hands-on laboratory, uh, uh, hands laboratory sa ating science class. And then, you will be doing many laboratory activities which require the use of, you know, hazardous chemicals and expensive laboratory equipments, okay? Kung meron tayong mga um, hazardous chemicals and expensive laboratory equipment, kailangan natin niya, uh, kailangan natin mag-ingat sa loob ng science lab. Another is, Safety is the in the science classroom is the number one priority. Tandaan yan, safety. Okay? Next is to ensure a safe science classroom, a list of rules has been developed and provided to you in your student safety contract. Ibig sabihin, bago kayo pumasok ng uh, laboratory class, may mga guidelines na nakadikit at babasahin nyo pa at Susundin nyo lahat na nandoon. Next is, uh, these rules must always be followed. Okay? If there are some rules and regulations inside the laboratory uh, class you need to follow para maka-avoid na accident. Okay? Next is, assigned love safety contract is required to participate in laboratory. Next is the general safety guidelines inside the laboratory. First, class, you always be responsible. Always be responsible. No horse play, no practical jokes, no pranks. Because inside the laboratories, bawal yung maglalaro. Inside the laboratories, no pranking of jokes, walang mag walang magjo-jokes ng chemicals, magsasabi ng chemicals, walang prankings kasi delikado. Tandaan nyo, pag nasa loob ng, ng, ng science laboratory, dapat, pagigi, pag, mag, dapat maging maingat. Okay? Dapat maging maingat tayo. Next is, you need to follow all the instructions carefully. 
So, kailangan yung sumunod lahat ng mga instructions na sinasabi o nakapost dyan sa loob ng classroom, especially yung teachers magsasabi sa inyo kung ano ang those and don't. Okay? Next is, do not play with the lab equipment until instructed to do so. Okay? Uh, pinagbabawal ang paglalaro ng mga laboratory apparatus pag hindi pa ito uh, kung, I mean, kung wala pa instructions ang inyong teachers. Okay? Next, um, food, drink, and any gums are not allowed in the science classroom. Very, uh, dapat strict, dapat hindi kumakain at hindi umiinom ng kahit anong drinks inside the classroom kasi baka mamaya matapunan yung ibang chemicals at you know, ano nang alam nyo na anong mangyayari. So, maaring masira ang performance ng iyong uh, activity because of those things na, na pinagbabawal dapat. Okay? Sinasabi ito, love, safety, everyone is responsible. Next general safety guidelines is that uh, we need to keep the science room clean as an organized. So before you leave inside the science laboratory, kailangan yung malinis o linisit at kailangan lahat ng equipment ay organized. Next is um, notify the teachers immediately of any accidents or unsafe conditions in the science laboratory classroom. So if there is a case that uh, if there is a case that um, you get into an accident, please imagine immediately rather contact your science teachers para uh, maabisuan o para matulungan yung ganong pangyayari. Next is uh, wash your hands with soap and water after experiment. So, this is the most important things that we need to remember. Pagkatapos nyo mag-experiment, kailangan nyo maghugas ng kamay gamit ang tubig para hindi nyo ma makain o ma-taste yung any chemicals na ginamit inside the laboratory. Next, let's move now to the safety symbols. Ito lang yung class ang pinaka-common. Pero if you try to go to the uh, other, you know, um, big laboratory uh, laboratory schools, I think marami pang mga safety symbols ang, ang makikita inside the laboratory. Okay, first, we have this one. Anong tawag nyo dito, class? This one is goggles. Okay? Para sa ng goggles? For eye protection. Okay? Pag merong may spills na chemicals sa ating face, hindi siya directly contact to our eyes because we have a goggles. Again, goggles is serve as a protection sa ating mata. Next is, meron tawag tayong sharp objects. So students, if you are inside the, if you are inside the classroom or, or, or in a laboratory class, uh, please do not bring any sharp mat materials. Okay, and then another is that um, electrical safety. So, uh, dapat alam natin kung paano isaksak itong electrical na to o paano gamitin kasi baka mamaya kung saan saan na lang sinasaksak. So, it might uh, occur uh, electrocuted kung mali-mali ang pagkasaksak o pagkagawa. Okay, una ay meron tayong eye protection. Meron tayong mga sharp objects inside the laboratory also and electrical safety. Okay, look at this one. Eye protection is wear safety goggles when working with chemicals, flames, or heating devices. If a chemical gets in your eye, flush in water for 15 minutes and notify the teacher. So in case na meron ng spill out sa mata, you need to wash with the running water and then after that, notify your science teachers that may nangyaring ganun para mas maagapan. Next is sharp objects. When using knives or knife or other sharp objects, always walk with the points facing down. Okay, cut away from the fingers and body. So, ibig sabihin, pag gumamit ka ng mga knife, kailangan yung sharp objects na hindi nakatutok sa iyo. Next, in electrical safety, do not place a cord where someone can trip over it. 
never use electricity around water, and unplug all equipment before leaving the room. So do not forget this one, class, because sometimes um, gumagamit tayo ng ganito. So, tapos tayong gamitin, we need to unplug all the electrical devices and take note, do not um, bring any water or any water substances near to your electrical safety uh, precautions. Okay? Next is we have an animal safety. Okay? In our animal safety class, only handle living organism with teacher's permissions. Okay? Always treat living organisms humanly. Wash your hands after handling animals. This animal safety symbols class, it happens only for the large schools. Okay? For example, kung magdadaisek ng frogs, magdadaisek ng kung ano-ano, so this might be um, magagamit doon. Okay? Next is heating safety. Okay? In heating safety class, you need to tie back hair, especially the girls, and loose clothes when working with open flames. Never look into a container as you are heating heat. Heated metal and glass looks cool. Use tongs or gloves before handling. Never leave a heat source unattended. Big sabihin class, pag kumataas ang book mo, kailangan mo talian. Tapos, huwag laging look directly to the container na mainit. Tapos, gumamit ng tongs at gloves kung ang materials or equipment ay mainit and never leave a heat source and attendant. Okay? Next is chem chemical safety. In a chemical safety class, rather, uh, the teachers will label twice before removing a chemical from the container. Never touch, taste, or smell chemical unless instructed by the teacher. Transfer chemicals carefully. So, in this chemical safety class, you need to be what? Uh, you need to wait the instructions of your teachers before doing anything else. Because, again, it might be cause of, you know, accident kung hindi ka mag uh, mag instructions ng teachers. Next is hand safety. If a chemical spills on your skin, notify again the teachers, rinse with water for 15 minutes. Carry glassware carefully. Okay, tandaan. If there are apparatus na, uh, glass apparatus na dinadala, dapat ayusin ang pag dala. Because kung pag nabasag to at nasugatan ka, well, obviously, dudugo. So, you need to notify your teachers para magkaroon tayo na, o oh, malinasa na, uh, first aid inside the class. Next, plant safety. Do not eat any plants in the lab and wash your hands after handling plants. O, tandaan nyo yan. Next is safety equipment. Okay? We have fire blanket. Okay? Fire blanket is usually located in the back of the science laboratory that has the color of red container. Okay? Next is the fire extinguisher. Okay? Fire extinguisher normally located outside the classroom door and in the computer laboratory at the same time in the science laboratory. Next is to operate the fire extinguisher, remember the word pass. When we say pass, P stands for pull the pin. A is aim the hose at the base of the fire from 5 to 6 feet away and squeeze the handle and sweep the hose back and forth across the fire. So remember this um, password para alam nyo kung paano gamitin ang fire extinguisher. Okay, next. Okay, remember, remember, stop, drop, and roll if there is fire. Okay? Next, let's see these pictures class. What do you observe about these pictures? Is there anything wrong about these pictures? Yes, there is. Because as you look at it, class, uh, yung students, sinasaksak niya yung wire na medyo basa-basa. So, dapat hindi ganun. Di ba sabi? Pag nasa electrical safety, dapat walang water na malapit because we know that water is a conductor of electricity. Tandaan mo natin yan. Tapos, he's not wearing the goggles. The goggles are, is here. 
ano pa, hindi maayos ang kanya, ay yung lab gown niya ay nasa labas, yung nakahang. Dapat suot niya yan during laboratory. How about this one? Anong mali dito sa picture class? Okay, look at this one. Tignan niyo itong kamay na ito, nasagi niya ang graduated cylinder na may lamang substances or chemicals. So, mag i yan. Wala din siyang tinatawag na lab gown. Wala din siyang goggles. Okay? Tandaan nyo dapat class sa loob ng, inside, uh, loob ng, ng science laboratory, dapat laging may uh, lab gown or any safety precautions. Next, how about here? What's wrong with this? May mali ba? Yes, may mali because ma ang sudyante umiinom ng soda, bawal kumain. Tandaan natin yan na, yan o, umiinom, bawal yan. Kasama yan sa safety rules and regulation inside the laboratory. So, may mali, bawal kumain. Okay, what to do in an emergency? Okay, first, if there is a fire or a fire alarm, Quietly get up and push in your quietly get up and push in your chair. Okay, walk towards the outside classroom door. Walk to the basketball court. Quickly line up in an alphabetical order by last name. Remain in line until the drill is over. Remain silent throughout the entire alarm so that all the people can hear important directions. So these are the possible. Uh, things that you need to 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 remember if there is an emergency or a fire emergency inside the laboratory. Okay. Is there any question, class? Okay, none. So I want you to remember this carefully. Read through the entire safety contract and sign para alam niyan. And the next is. Um, you can share it with your parents about the safety and rules and regulations based on what we discussed today. And then, study for the safety quiz later this week because I'm going to give, to give you an online quiz. Thank you very much and stay safe. Stay safe, brother.